Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a product that just absolutely blew my mind. You know, I can't believe it took this long for something like this to, to make its way into the world of photography. But now that it's here, I'm glad that it is. Um, so today uh, we're going to be talking about and taking a couple photos of a watch that um, I just got. And I've been, you know, wanting to take a couple of product photography photos of it. And uh, we're going to use the, the V-Flat World Light Cone by Carl Taylor. Um, here it is. It looks like a dog collar. God, it works incredibly well. Uh, it unsnaps. It folds up flat. This here is the large. Ooh, I bet they crushed the audio. This here is the large. It's 20 inches in diameter on the bottom, 5 inches in diameter on the top. Uh, uh, they, you can get a, a kit that comes with the, the mobile photography, the small and the large. Me, I was thinking that maybe the large could kind of be one size does it all. But after using it, I kind of wish I would have went ahead and got the kit. But uh, either way, I'm still glad that I have it. And uh, let's, uh, let's put it to work. So like I said, I got a, I got a new watch by Aeromat. And supposedly it's a pilot's watch. So we're going to go with kind of a... Uh, a pilot's theme on the watch. I got everything set up over here on the table and I'm gonna switch cameras and then we'll start taking some photos. So uh, I'm glad you're here and if you're new to the channel my name is Donnie. I make content that's uh, tech related and photo related uh, just like most of the other YouTubers only theirs are a whole lot better. But uh, I'm glad you're here. Thanks for stopping by and let's take some photos. Okay, so I'm going to be using, uh, well, uh, I'm filming on my Canon 77D because I want to use my R to take the photos. So uh, I'm going to be using the 24 to 105. A um, couple reasons for that. It's, uh, you know, the 105 focal range is kind of where I want to be, maybe between somewhere between 85 and 105 but I typically would take the photo at around maybe maybe f4 anyway this is f4 lens and it has a lot closer focusing distance than my uh, 70 to 200 does so we can really get on there okay so I kind of wanted to showcase how it, it unfolds so this is how you would store it if you wanted to uh, it's it's definitely it would definitely lay flat I guess this V flat world but I hope I don't kill the audio with this it literally just snaps together like a dog collar or to look like a dog collar and then for lighting you can really use any kind of light that you want it's kind of recommended that you do like a three-point system but even if I just set this up here like this you can kind of see how just that lamp kind of starts to make it glow by itself but that's not what we're going to use uh, I have these lights from Ulanzi they work really great and I have one of those aperture, the little aperture light. Uh, I've got them all set to 5600 Kelvin. But you could use anything from these little loom cubes to these other little Ulanzi lights. I mean, they all work really, really well. So like I said, we're going to be using these. Now, I was going with, you know, the kind of like the pilot theme, the air theme. This here is the watch. I've already kind of wiped it off, got all the fingerprints off of it. So just the pilot's watch. I don't know if you can see that. What I did do is I printed a bunch of charts, air charts. That light's probably killing it. But I printed a bunch of charts and not really sure how I want to lay this out just yet. Something probably about like that maybe. And then I have a compass. I have a couple of these for years I called these compasses, but I guess they're protractors or whatever. Um, got a couple of these and got these charts. So anytime you're doing any kind of product photography, you know you want to kind of build up layers. And that's what, uh, that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to set the watch kind of in the middle. Let me kind of spread these apart just a little bit. Something about like that maybe. And let's put that there. Let's 
turn. That's where at least it looks like it's going north. Oh, uh, you know what else would look really good in there? I keep this notepad in my pocket and this brass pen with me at all times. I think that pen would probably look pretty good in there. Let's open it up. All right, so I do have a top-down shot. I forgot about that, so we might even put that notebook in there. All right, next step, we're gonna cut all these on. We'll put one there. Put one in the back. And we'll cut this one on. And we might cut that off. Just make sure. Yeah, it looks okay. All right, the top of the thing, the top of the cone has got an angle to it, and that's so you can kind of get down in there. Wow, it looks so good. Can you see that? No, not really, huh? I typically like to shoot with a warmer color temperature, but with it being a silver watch i just think the daylight balanced looks really really well so i guess you can see down in there make sure the battery life's good all right so we'll put one there put one there put one kind of there god that's so nice All right, take that off. Mode info manual. Let's see what. Bump that ISO up just a little bit. Hmm. I wish you could reach down in there. I do that. It's all about just adding, just layering it up, you know, just move things around until you get it to where you think it looks good. Oh yeah, I'm happy with that. One thing I do wish you could do, a lot of times, you know, you want to get a bunch of different angles. So, you know, you might want to get in here like this and get a good angle on it. And another good tip for whenever you're shooting watches, if you notice in, all, in almost every watch ad, they're typically uh, set to 10-10 just because it looks good, you know, the, the V. And there it is. Um, just because I can, I'm gonna turn this color temperature down to about, I don't know, maybe 35 or 32. That's 32 right there. I've just always liked the warmer temperatures myself. It's all just personal preference. There's no right or wrong way as long as you're lighting it up. And as long as you like it and your client likes it. We'll even cut that lamp back on. Yeah, I'm a fan of the warmer temperatures. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked with that. So as you can see, it's uh, it's really easy to get your camera into the top of it. I mean, if you if you wanted to, you could even you know have a lower table and have it lower, and then you could shoot you know through it with a tripod. But uh, I just got it set up here on this table. It's, it's what I got. It's what I do most of my products on. 
I keep my uh, my fiber boards back here. I can just pull them up, do black, gray, whatever, uh, or lay it out on, on the table. So if you're into product photography and you're always just battling, trying to get those reflections out, you know, and, and what I would normally do is put a, uh, a CPL on and that would help a lot on cutting down the reflections, but it was always just so hard for me to find that right balance of light. And uh, this is just going to make a world of difference. I mean, whether it's, it's jewelry or shiny objects like, uh, I don't know, shiny things or, you know, watches. I take a, I typically take a lot of photographs of watches. Uh, I was actually going to use the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 on this particular shot, but my wife is wearing it right now because she just absolutely loves it. But, uh, and if you're into wearables, uh, a full review coming up on the Galaxy Watch 5 soon. So if you want to see something like that, maybe hit the subscribe button. Uh, if not, just, you know, maybe I'll see you around in the next one. But um, as you can see, super simple. I mean, it is a little big. The uh, the one for mobile, you know, it has a smaller hole and small, it's just a smaller size. And you're able to just, you know, get your phone's camera in there. I don't know. I mean, it, you know, the whole kit was kind of pricey. So that's really why I bought just a single. But because, I mean, if you've been watching the channel for some time, you know I'm, I'm pretty budget conscious. And that's kind of where I got my start in making these videos, was trying to find the, the best way into this beautiful craft of photography without spending a ton of money. And, um, I mean, even now I'm filming on a, you know, a, a older camera with a Tokina lens and it seems to be doing just fine. But, uh, yeah, it, it unsnaps. It folds up flat and it even comes with a nice case to, um, to store it in. You know, I mean, it's not super high quality, but it's a, it's a nice case. You know, you can, you can put it in with your, with your fiber board or whatever. Um, definitely, definitely excited that I had this in my, in my arsenal, but, but product photography is kind of, you know, I don't, I don't have a whole lot of friends and, you know, I don't really go on a whole lot of photo walks or stuff like that. I just don't have a whole lot of people to shoot. And so cars and things is kind of my my niche you know like i just enjoy it you know they don't they don't have bad days they don't have attitudes they don't have schedules conflicting schedules so that's kind of where i just i, I found my my place was in products because you can shoot products at any time of the day or anywhere in the world you don't have to have golden hour you don't have to have you know uh schedules that that meet up on time and you know it's just really fun to do and, um, you know, I'm glad that uh, Carl Taylor has come up with something that just makes it that much easier. So, and I use these little Yolanzi lights just to kind of show that you don't have to have the most expensive lighting in the world for this to, to work for you. I mean, this little light right here is 20 bucks. I think each one of these lights is probably $20 each. Now, think about it, that kind of adds up to a lot, but I didn't buy them all at one time, you know, but... Um, yeah, definitely worth the looking into. I was thinking that I, I could probably make one of these, but I don't know if I'm going to try to do that, but I don't know. There it is. The, uh, V flat world, Carl Taylor. The only reason I keep saying Carl Taylor is because that's his name is on every one of the buttons and on the case and it came on the box. And so I don't know who Carl Taylor is, but you did a good job and Thank you for what you did, for your contribution, and yeah, definitely check it out. I think right now it's still on pre-order at B&H, but I was able to pick that up with two-day shipping from Amazon, and uh, it came yesterday. I played with it yesterday and decided to make the video on it today. So that's going to do it for this one. I appreciate y'all stopping by. Like I said, if you're new here, my name's Donnie and I do videos on tech and photo related products and, and how to's and whatnot. So if you feel like I earned it, a uh, sub would be awesome. If I didn't, maybe I can get you on the next one. But if you found this at all helpful, a like would be, would be cool. But uh, if you don't think I deserve it, then don't do it. But um, you know, maybe we'll see you around. 
And for those of you that have been following me for a while, I appreciate each and every one of y'all. You know, I know that there is so much better content out there and 99% of y'all don't even make it this far in the video, but that's okay. I'm learning. I'm still, I'm still getting better and uh, trying, to, trying to put out, you know, decent content. Um, and I, I really appreciate each and every one of y'all for, you know, hanging around and, and being part of the team. So with that being said, I hope y'all have a great day and take care of yourselves because I know you deserve it. Peace. Oh,